Warren Buffett is known as the world's best investor. According to Google, Warren Buffett's net worth exceeds $113 billion. But how did he get started? And what can we learn from Warren Buffett when it comes to our own investment choices? We'll get to that, but first, if you're looking to level up your investing and trading, check out today's sponsor, Moomoo. Moomoo is a commission-free trading app with powerful analytical tools. When you sign up using the link in the description, you're able to claim free stocks if certain criteria is met, up to a total of five free stocks, each worth up to $3,500. And it's super easy to sign up for. With a few taps, you can create an account and get started investing and trading stocks. You'll get access to fast and reliable order execution, real-time market news, and a trader community with over 17 million users. Warren Buffett was all about analyzing companies to find the best value. Moomoo gives you the analytic tools you need to look at metrics like capital trends, companies' financial statements, EPS, ROE, position cost distribution, and much more. Check out the link in the description to sign up with Moomoo to start trading and investing, and if certain criteria is met, you can claim five free stocks up to a value of $3,500 each. Like many of the world's most notable individuals, Warren Buffett showed himself to be exceptional from the beginning. Looking at his early life, it seemed his success was almost inevitable. Buffett had been hustling from the moment he came out of the womb. In a documentary on his life, Buffett talks about how he went to the library at age seven and borrowed the book 1,000 Ways to Make $1,000. The book inspired him to start selling Coca-Cola, chewing gum, and magazines as a young door-to-door -door salesman. He worked at his grandfather's grocery store as a kid and had a variety of other jobs, including delivering newspapers, selling golf balls and stamps, and detailing cars. Buffett filed his income tax return for the first time at the age of 13 years old, and you better believe he took a $35 tax deduction for the use of his bicycle because it was part of his paper route business. His hustling did not stop in his childhood. During his senior year of high school, he partnered with a friend to buy a pinball machine for $25. They placed it at the local barber shop and within a few months had expanded the business to include several more machines in three barber shops across Omaha. In the end, they sold that pinball machine business to a war veteran for $1,200. To put that into context, when we account for inflation, that would be the equivalent of $15,000 today. During that same year, Buffett earns over $5,000 delivering newspapers. That would be more than $62,500 in today's money. If we can learn anything from Warren's early years, it's that he was hustling. Too many people sit around waiting for a million dollar idea to hit, but Buffett was out there as a kid doing jobs that had no chance of making him a millionaire. But what those jobs did give him was the opportunity to make money at an early age and the opportunity to gain experience and learn about different businesses. It's not just about working though. Even as a child, he was investing. He took that $25 and turned it into more than $1,200 with that pinball machine business. And that's a 4,800% return on his investment in one year. A good index fund would give you an average return of 7% a year over many years. By investing in his own business and himself, Buffett made far more money than if he were to sink all of that into the stock market for a single year. And the wonderful thing about that pinball machine business was that it was passive income. He just had to collect the money and the machines would do most of the work. And in the end, he would end up selling it. Nowadays, there are far more opportunities than young Warren Buffett could have imagined for making passive income. And if Buffett was a teenager today, he almost certainly would be building passive income streams like making online courses or having a YouTube channel or some sort of social media presence or even doing something like eBooks or photography. He probably would have dipped his toes in a lot of different business ideas to try to earn that passive income. With all of these opportunities available to earn passive income, a lot of people have started to question the actual value of higher education, especially when the sticker price of a college degree keeps increasing exponentially. People like Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg are held up as examples of why higher education isn't necessary. Warren Buffett, however, invested quite a lot into his post-high school education and came out with quite the pedigree. After turning 17 years old, he enrolled in the prestigious Wharton School of Business at Penn 
Penn, but then later transferred to the University of Nebraska. He then went on to get a master's degree from Columbia Business School. He didn't stop there though. After graduating there, he attended the New York Institute of Finance. What we can learn from Buffett is this. Education is an investment and should be treated as such. And just like anything else, you can make a good investment or you can make a bad investment. According to a recent article by Freeop, one of the most lucrative programs anywhere is the finance major at the University of Pennsylvania. Graduates from Warren's alma mater have median earnings of $288,000 by the age of 35. However, most other degrees in things like philosophy and religious studies will actually leave students worse off financially. Buffett also graduated from his undergrad program in three years. One of the most common ways that college students reduce the ROI on their studies is simply by taking too long. Each extra year of university not only costs more in tuition, but is lost time where you could be making a salary with that new degree. The biggest problem in student debt is when you spent the money on college, but drop out. The harsh reality is that most college dropouts do not end up like Bill Gates or Mark Zuckerberg. $13,929 is the average amount of student debt owed by dropouts. 70.6% of dropouts regret dropping out of college, 46.5% of dropouts default on their student loan debt, and 68.8% of dropouts believe they could have repaid their debts faster if they actually had earned a degree. If you approach education as an investment, hopefully you can avoid this situation. Our advice, if you do choose to pursue a college degree, do your research and pick a degree that's proven to have a high ROI like engineering, computer science, or nursing. Pick an institution that's going to give you a good ROI as well. Sometimes Ivy League schools can be worth it, but sometimes they leave you in the red. Again, research specifically for that school's ROI and what the good programs are at that university. And whatever you do, stay away from for-profit universities. Wait until until you're ready to finish your degree to start it. There's no rush to start school, especially if you're not sure what direction you want to go in. So you can always take a few years off to work before you actually start. And take community college classes for your early credits if possible. A lot of schools have the same core requirements and many of them allow you to transfer in your credits from community college. Since university is usually 10 to 50 times more expensive than community college, getting as many credits as possible possible from community college can quickly add up to tens of thousands of dollars in savings. So by the time Warren Buffett graduates undergrad, his savings have reached $9,800, which would be more than $114,000 today. While in his master's program, Warren Buffett had substantial savings, but he wasn't a millionaire yet. In 1951, Buffett found out that one of his professors, Benjamin Graham, was on the board of Geico. Warren goes to Geico headquarters and meets with an executive. Immediately after questioning the executive thoroughly on the business, Warren Buffett is so excited that he spends 65% of his savings to purchase Geico stock. And fast forward again, Buffett now owns Geico entirely. By the time Buffett bought out the rest of the company in 1996, its shares had increased from $31 to $68 per share. Again, we see that Buffett is investing in stocks, but with the ultimate goal of owning the entire business. As he learned in his childhood, the best returns are going to come from owning and controlling a profitable business. After graduating from his master's program, he purchases a Texaco station as a side investment, but that doesn't work out. And this is a good reminder that not everything you try will work out. That's part of taking risks and being an actor in the market. At the age of 24, he starts working at his former professor's investment firm. His starting salary is $12,000 a year, yet due to his hustling, he's able to retire two years later with a savings of $140,000. It is at this point where Buffett finally starts his own investment firm. He takes on $105,000 of contributions and invests only $100 himself. Having already proven himself as a successful businessman and investor, he's able to make money primarily by investing other people's money. It's this act of opening up his own firms that quickly catapults him into being a millionaire. During his first year running his own partnership, he opens up two more. The following year in 
1957, he opens up an additional two, bringing him to a total of five partnerships. Within three years, he doubles the money of his partners. Within five years of starting, his partnerships are now worth millions of dollars. Buffett becomes a millionaire before he turns 30. Now, most of us are not going to live this kind of prodigal life. Like Bill Gates or Steve Jobs, Warren Buffett is undoubtedly a genius. The average person can still learn from him though. Here are some key takeaways from Warren Buffett's life so far. Investment in your own business has potential for returns that stock investing never will. Don't shy away from working quote unquote normal jobs to get your initial investment money. And if you learn the fundamental skills of finance, in the end, you can make Make money by helping other people grow their investments or their businesses, and at that point, the sky is the limit for how much you can make. To take your first step and get started with investing, sign up for Moomoo using the link in the description. For a limited time, you're able to claim free stocks if certain criteria is met, up to a total of five free stocks worth up to $3,500 each. So check out that link to claim your free stocks, and I'll see you guys in the next one.